when ye valitit drengur. It's a pretty simple sentence. This means ye I var was again past tense of vera. Litit little drengur uh, is like a boy. Um, Drenger is a boy, also Strauker is a boy, um, but I think Strauker can be used kind of like with men, with guys as well, uh, with people, um, but Drenger I think is a more technical term for a boy, uh, and it's, 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 um, the masculine ending there, the, 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 the noun is masculine, so you take, you take the masculine ending of the, of the adjective, leetit. Um, okay, or stove, yeah, okay, so, and stood. Stove is again from astanda. It's a strong, it's a strong, uh, strong verb. So remember the sigla was yestent, uh, through stender. Um, and the past is ye stove, like I stood. Um, and thu stoved. Okay, so you're using that one, you're using stove. Now stove, uh, okay, and stood. So, I remember when I was a little boy and stood. Eit reg grauan thorkadag. This means on one rainy grey foggy day. Now, the words reg, which is attached to the beginning of the adjective, uh, making a kind of the regular adjective, just a col kind of a colloquial adjective, I suppose. Um, and thorku, which comes from uh, which comes from the word thorka, which is fog. Um, uh, you can kind of ignore those if you want to look at the structure of this and just say eight grauan dag, and you got you'd have reg grauan but those th those are just kind of like additions to the beginning of the words, basically. Um, but if you want to look at what's important in this in the, in this section, it is one grey day, and so dag is so yeah, dag is the um, nominative form of dag, and so it's the accusative form of dag. So you take that away, take that away, to put it to put it in accusative because we talk about on this day, uh, like e dag today. Our, uh, our dog, uh, like on a day. Um, um, then, so then, so then, both of these adjectives are the accusative form. The accusative form here is happens to be the same as the um, singular form. Uh, so as the um, as the nominative form, but the accusative form here of uh, growl. Uh, making those mistakes here. Of graur, um, you're putting it in accusative, so you take away the r ending, and you add a n. It's masculine, so it all just makes it all, it all just clicks together. So, a reg grauan thorkudag, a hol otri götini. Okay, now um, I need to pretend that this actually says. Our hall of three Goethe. Um, saying this because adjectives in Icelandic have two forms. They have a they have a strong form and they have a weak form. And um, most of the time, when you're learning, when you're starting, when you're starting to learn, you'll learn the strong forms, uh, which are like for the feminine, they are no ending in the nominative, a ending in the accusative, r i ending in the um, dative and r a r yes uh, in the um, in the in in the genitive the um, and that is the normal form that you'll have with an indefinite noun now in this case um, there's a bit of poetic license that they've used they put gertini which is like the on the street um, and the reason that's the reason that's odd is because um, it's because you'd normally have the weak, the weak adjective here, which would be 
all O uh, two, uh, which is the weak form. The, the, the weak form of adjectives, by the way, is this A U U U for feminine. Uh, so instead of instead of U, they've put body. It's just like a poetic thing, but just so just pretend it says Goethe. Um, and then we can see well, the Goethe is from Gata, and this is the uh, it is the dative form of that. Dative form of that is Goethe, and it is feminine. So they put the feminine dative ending onto that, like I like I just showed. Uh, Hall Hall alter is the uh, dictionary form you'll find, which is that's got the masculine ending on that. Means um, it means like uh, a, a pothole. So, I'll hold out three curtains, or hold hold the owl who sin or potlana. And the final bit, I just realised this is actually this entire paragraph is actually just one sentence, uh, which makes it a little bit difficult. That's why I had to split it up so much. Um, or what's it? Or hold the hold the that is from uh, horva which is a quite regular, um, it's, a, it's a regular weak verb, so um, I think it's ye horfi, or ye horfa, I can't remember, but then in the past tense it's ye horfi, that's quite regular. Um, or horfi al, and yeah, so, that, so that's to look, and to look at is a horfa al plus accusative, and then you put the two things that you're looking at, you're just looking at the houses, which is that definite article is in in the accusative plural, and um, the puddles. Uh, puddle is that. Potler, puddles, potlar, puddles. Uh, accusative potla plus the na. So horthy al husin or potlana. Buin.